Hey guys, this is William from Great Affordable Watches and today we're going to review the Frédéric Constant Slimline. This watch retails for about $2,800. Okay, let's uh, go through some specs first. It is 42 mm across in diameter. The lug width is 22 mm. So it's a it's a very big watch for being a dress watch, but uh, it do wear a lot smaller than it really is. So that's uh, that's really nice. And you, as you can see on my seven inch wrist, it wears pretty nice and it doesn't doesn't wear too big. I think it's uh, the size is is pretty good. The watch case is 10 mm thick, so it's it's not the thinnest dress watch. But uh, you have to take into account that this watch comes with an in-house movement, as I'm going to show you later. This one, uh, this model number is FC710S4S6. And this is the white dial. Uh, it's a more, it's a bit silverish, silver creamish uh, in person, with the date wheel at the bottom. Uh, some people may think that this watch is a bit too uh, boring for them. Yeah, but I can agree somewhat with that, but I really think that the date wheel really complements and balance out the dial. And also the, the applied indexes here, uh, making this watch looks uh, refined. The weak point of this watch is the strap. The genuine leather strap is a bit too, too hard for my taste uh, and it looks a bit plastic. But other than that, I think you can, al you can always change the strap. Uh, you get a beautiful deployant uh, buckle here um, so you can always change the strap and put the buckle on the, your new strap but the it's a it's a simple simple strap black strap so you can always wear it out and then change it later i think the dial is very beautiful and very simple so it's uh, very classy here you can see the in-house movement uh, it got 26 joules and a power serve of 42 hours as you can see the the, the movement is extremely beautiful with the uh, here and the Geneve stripes and also think that the rotor is gold plated um, and it's very it's very uncommon for uh, for you to see a watch with an in-house movement that looks this good for under five thousand dollars you can you can find the uh, Seiko watches have in-house movements, but uh, Swiss-made in-house movements in a watch of this uh, price is almost impossible to find. The the movement really looks extremely beautiful, and it's one of the most beautiful movements I've seen, uh, especially for for this price. Um, the movement is modular, so uh, so Frederic Constant modifies add modules to the watch. Uh, if they want to add a moon face or something like that. Uh, the case is uh, fully uh, fully polished as you can see. So it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet unfortunately. Uh, but I do think that uh, this polish case really complements the style of the watch and make it very classy and simple which I really like. And I think that the black, uh, the black uh, text here on the Case back is uh, really nice to contrast the watch. I think it's extremely hard to get a watch of this caliber, especially for the price I paid. You can get this uh, watch for around a thousand dollars, and I still think it's an excellent price for the value you're getting, especially with the in-house movement. Um, Friedrich Constant is really pushing the the in-house movements in Switzerland and from what I heard the first Swiss, Swiss made watch with an in-house movement of this price so it's always very nice to see. Here you can see the leather strap and the very beautiful single folded clasp. I think it's a very beautiful watch and I can highly recommend it if you are searching for a dress watch under a thousand dollars and you really want an in-house movement and very good finishing also i really like the 
this crown it really feels nice and the winding mechanism is feels very solid and a bit heavy though of course you got slightly domed sapphire crystal here and I think it's a sapphire crystal here but I'm not sure so don't quote me on that it can be a mineral crystal crystal I had this watch for a while now and it, it uh, haven't picked up any scratches so that's nice I really like the watch and uh, I think it's a perfect dress watch even though it's a bit too big uh, for being a true dress watch but as I said it wears pretty pretty small I think it works anyway so I hope you guys like this uh, review and uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you want and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the watch and the review.